Hi friends and welcome back to class. Today we are going to be reading the book The Pout Pout Fish and the Bully Bully Shark. Here's Pout Pout Fish and he looks like a bully shark. Let's get into it. The author is Deborah Dyson and the illustrator is Dan Hanna. Let's get into it. Deep in the ocean on a warm, gentle day, bubbled lots of lovely laughter and the sound of happy play. Look, it looks like they are in a park. Oh yes, they are. It says, welcome to Tummy Tickle Park. Look at all these lovely fish friends having so much fun in the park. Mr. Fish and his pals and buddies were together at the park, having fun and feeling welcome when along came, who's coming? Who do you think it is? Look, everybody's having so much fun, swinging on the swings. A shark! <gasps> Look at The shark showed his teeth and he growled as he swam. Move aside, micro fishes. It's my turn. Scram. That is not nice. Those are not nice words. Mr. Fish shrank back and he felt very strange. The bright morning tilted and the park began to change. Oh, look how mean he's being to these other fish. That one's even hiding. That is not nice. The friends all around him seemed to shrink back too. Mr. Fish's face flattened. What do you Oh, I don't know what to do. Look at all these friends, they're hiding. Even some went down into the sand to hide away from the shark. Shark acted badly, being mean is wrong, but I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? Somebody thinks that someone should say something and tell him to use his nice, gentle words. The water slowly calmed and the friends found their way back to laughter filled frolic and a cheery, cheery day. Look at they're having fun again. See? Look how happy they are. The monkey bars. Look at them all swinging. Oh, here comes the shark. But the shark came around again and he used a bad name. He shouted, get lost. I'm the boss of this game. Mr. Fish shrank back with his feelings in a lump. Fear grew inside him in a weird and heavy clump. <gasps> like sometimes when you're scared, you can feel it in your throat you like this. <clears throat> the friends all around him seemed to shrink back too. Mr. Fish's face frowned. That's a frown. Mm. Oh, I don't know what to do. Shark acted badly. Here he is. Being mean is wrong, but I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? Here he is. He's thinking, what can I do to make him be a nice shark? The unmentioned tension grew when Shark reappeared. He stole the guppy's lunch. Look, there he is. He took his lunch. That's not nice. Fear the fin, he sneered. Mm. Fear the fin. Mr. Fish shrank back and his innards did a flop. His feelings tumbled jumbled. Would the awful ever stop? Look at him. He's not being nice. Here's Mr. Fish. Trying to figure out what to do. The friends all around him seemed to shrink back too. Mr. Fish's face fizzled. Oh, I don't know what to do. Shark acted badly. Being mean is wrong. But I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? Look, oh, there he is. They're all so scared. But he's taking that friend's lunch. How mean. He turned to leave the park feeling sad through and through. Then slowly came a thought. There was something he could do. Words can make a difference when things go wrong. 
Yes, I'm just one fish, but my voice is strong. Look, there he is. He's feeling strong and courageous. Maybe he'll say something. Mr. Fish turned back and directly faced the shark. Look, he's looking him right in the eyes, eyes to eyes. It was time to talk straight about what happened in the park. Oh, that's scary. Look how, look how close he is. Look at those teeth. Mr. Shark said, Mr. Fish, you have broken up our fun. Bully isn't who you are, but it is what you have done. See, that's what it's called being not nice to friends. It's called being a bully. You don't ever want to be like that. The things you did were mean, and that's not what we expect. So please leave until you're ready to treat us with respect. Mr. Fish spoke up and his words rang out loud. The friends all around him formed an upstanding crowd. Look, everybody's standing behind him. They're all saying that they agree. Mr. Shark, you're not being nice. You're being a bully. And so Mr. Fish sent Mr. Shark away. And sometimes, I remember some friends have to sit out if they're not being nice. They don't get to play with everybody else until they're ready to come back. Has that happened to you? Remember friends, you need to be nice. Because look, now nobody wants to play with him because he's not being nice. He was being a bully. Together they were stronger. Now none of them were scared. They cared about each other and the ocean world they shared. See, look how happy they are. Oh, so being nice. And look at the book that, Miss, that the shark is reading. How to be respectful. That means how to be nice. Soon Mr. Fish was laughing and his friends were having fun, taking turns and using empathy, which means to be caring and kind and sweet and care about everybody, to each and every one. The park filled again with the joyful sounds of play, plus the confidence of knowing how to keep it that way. We are kind, we are fair, we are all potential friends, so we speak up when we need to. See, look at this. Everybody is being nice, and when you see somebody not being a nice friend to somebody else, use your voice and say, stop. That is not right what you're saying. I don't like those words. Look at, look how nice Mr. Shark is now. Now his teeth don't look scary because he is smiling instead of snarling. And he's playing ball with the other fish. That's how bullying ends. Yeah, look at, now he has friends and everybody wants to play with him. And if you see somebody not using their nice words or their gentle hands to another friend or even to yourself, speak up because you are strong and courageous. Don't let people be mean to you or other friends because that's not nice. And that makes people very, very sad. And that's called bullying. And we don't ever want to be a bully. So always be kind, always be nice, and you'll have friends forever. Thanks for watching. And as I always say, I'll be back with more videos.